Diabetes, obesity, heart disease, and cancer. The number of patients dealing with medical problems keeps growing, yet with their busy schedules, doctors simply cannot be everywhere at one time to help them all out. But now some are testing out a new technology that could bring doctor-patient communication to a whole new level. Our Alicia Smith has more in today's Health Edge. Yeah, they're calling it telemedicine, using new technology to bring more patients face to face with their physician. Hey, good morning, Mr. Cord. How are you? It's a one on one chat. Keep in mind, it's still a big surgery on the inside. I am uh, learning you know. that. Less than 20 hours after surgery at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit, Mickey Court gets the play by play from his doctor via an iPad. It was a tough location for your tumor. Dr. Craig Rogers is doing rounds from 25 miles away at Henry Ford West Bloomfield Hospital where he's about to go into surgery. What did you think of the telerounding? I like talking to him and uh, face to face was good. Dr. Rogers says this is not meant to replace bedside visits. It's just a way to check on his patients when he's away. I can actually use the iPad to examine them. I, I still have a team on site. I still have nurses and fellows and residents that are that are here, um, but it, it definitely helps that I can be more of a part of the process. Dr. Rogers and Henry Ford Hospital fellow Dr. Bartosz Kashmarek started studying what patients thought about face-to-face -face video calls back in January. They answered to one of the questions that they would rather see their own doctor on an iPad if they had to be hospitalized without their doctor around than see another doctor directly. Telemedicine may also catch on outside the hospital. This spring, Project Healthy Living tested an emerging technology at its sites called GEMS. It was designed and created right here in Michigan. A patient can sit in front of this to talk to a doctor. The GEMS technology encrypts the video for privacy and streams it to a doctor anywhere who has GEMS software on his smartphone. Besides just doing a live video feed, we can attach other equipment to this. So anything with a, a feed like an EKG or you know anything that's got a camera type of feed, we can attach to this so the doctor can get a complete profile of the patient. And Project Healthy Living organizers see the need, especially in rural areas. Let's the doctors who can't get away from their office actually uh, give consultations from their office. Going high tech, but staying personal. All right, good, good luck today with the walking, okay? All right, thank you. All right, you take care now. Now, if you're wondering how they keep those chats confidential, Henry Ford Health System now requires iPads to be given an asset tag and set up with AirWatch to encrypt the data to provide an extra level of protection and privacy. With today's Health Edge, I'm Alicia Smith. Back to you.